a note on um, what do you do in San Francisco and the student's wife two short stories by Raymond Carver mm, from would you be quiet please uh, would you be quiet please no word um, Raymond Carver is a fantastic uh, wonderful wonderful writer and I am just discovering him uh, it's been seven or eight stories now and um, I heard about him in um, Birdman uh, which won the, the Oscar Academy Award for full best film Michael Keaton anyway um, the first story what you do in San Francisco is told by a postman who is a narrator but unusually I would say he doesn't express the view of the author I think uh, I just assume that the writer Raymond Carver has more liberal views and he's putting in this uh, man who is uh, way more conservative and not retrograde but somewhat old-fashioned and um, uh, in contrast with the young gish couple so on his road he sees this um, couple beatniks you would call him he says who just move in they have a u-haul behind and the ford he even says the year i forgot what year and um, um he is um, saying later on that he didn't like the one woman from the first time he saw her uh, she's an artist and this is where i have this um, opposition. We have the postman with a regular job. He insists upon work quite a few times, if not four or four, five times along this short story. And this woman who's an artist, she paints. Why he, does he insist upon work uh, all the time? As if artist is not, being an artist is not uh, working. And then coming back to the writer, writer, painter, they would be placed in the same camp. Uh, nevertheless, the uh, postman himself is not wrong altogether. In fact, he's very right on when he insists on work. In what sense? Work? Not just the work he thinks about uh, in a, with a lumberjacks uh, in a mill of fishing hand work, manual work, it can be the other work, but it is work that you need to be in flow, in, to have the maximum happiness, uh, uh, Mihaly Chikson Mihaly has this wonderful uh, flow work uh, book, in which he explains what the ingredients, the secrets uh, are for maximum joy, and you need to be challenged you need to be let's say work do something so this is where the postman is right because contrary it's counterintuitive contrary to common opinion it's not when you lay back on a couch and watch television and you're not challenged at all that you reach a level of uh, merriment of uh, bliss studies, so this is science already, it's based on studies and tests, studies show that when you are challenged, this is the condition for flow is to be challenged, to be way above the boredom level, and under the, the overwhelming level, your, the challenge has to match your skills. So coming back, uh, the couple split, and... Um, the postman, our narrator, uh, 
uh, feels that it's because the man didn't have work then he, she is also responsible I will just say this and not mention what happens even if it's a short story you might feel you want to know less about the ending uh, in order to read it um, the, she has a visit from a woman who works on a kind of not welcoming committee but some sort of outfit and um, she is one woman listening and the next she just goes away like this Sally from the committee is not there and then she cuddles and she mm, plays with the kids and very quickly she starts screeching and uh, uh, unbalanced uh, seems to push them away somewhat she may be just an artist and there might be just those rumors that they spread that they w she might be a drag addict uh, that the guy is just out of penitentiary because they came from San Francisco to the small town Ar Arcada However, to finish quickly with the next uh, second um, short story, a student's wife, I don't know if it's also much. student's wife, um, this one is just happening on or near a bed, where in the first place this man is reading from Rilke poems to his wife and she enjoys it he has a talent for this reading and um then she <laughs> starts to be nasty i thought for some time after which i i didn't know what to think anymore mm, she seems to coming back again to positive psychology to one thing she doesn't have whereas to be happy you need to um, be grateful for what you have or in the words of the Stoics uh, want what you already have so that you will be satisfied it's true she puts it like she would like to she would like to have nice clothes uh, she would like to dance she would like to buy things for her children not worrying um, about income and things we all uh, contemplate once in a while she likes sex she likes to be touched and surprised <laughs> interesting and um, at the same time she keeps uh, nudging the poor fellow he's falling asleep she wakes him up he's falling asleep again she says I want a foot massage and I thought, I, I, I thought this, this is not uh, this is selfish, this is not nice to the poor guy. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I identify too much with a male, senseless guy.